Okay guys, so get this. Offset recently sat down for an interview with Ebro Darden for Hot 97's Ebro in the Morning. During the conversation, the Migos rapper star proclaimed older artists should kiss Migos' feet for propelling hip-hop to forefront. Lupe Fiasco evidently took issues with his sentiments. Over the weekend, the food and liquor mastermind scolded Offset for using the term kiss and feet. He pointed out it isn't a symbol of admiration or respect, it's more like a subservient gesture intended to humiliate the delivering party. Yeah. If you're an older artist, you should be thanking us, kissing our feet. Not just the Migos. I'm not even going to do that. Just how we turn the culture of music. Number one, hip-hop. Bro, in life, there's never been hip-hop has been the number one genre, ever. So but y'all are doing it so rapping. So what were you doing that well, was we had Pac. Than, we had Pac. Pac. Pac and Big had number one albums. They had number the one albums, thing, but I'm the saying the yeah. whole culture of yeah. right now, when you go to these, these Spotify's and these, you're not seeing... Like the other drops, pop country, and like they used to be, we used to be number 30. Now we'll be number one. Fast, fast. Streams, how stream is. People listen to that, to, listen to hip hop more than any other time. So you should salute us. We made this bigger than what it was. I remember you fought for it. We would be respecting y'all. You fought for it. You set the tone. Your style is just different. In the lengthy Instagram post, he also called for unity in hip hop. Firstly, let me say that I'm a huge fan of the Migos, specifically Emmett Smith and Fight Night. Also, when I go to the club, I only really get up and dance, dance my little dance to Migos. True story, Lupe begins. Secondly, let me say that the only visceral problem with Brother Offset's statement is the use of the cliche kiss and feet. That's not a sign of respect. That's an act of subjugation of something lower to something higher. And as Busta Rhymes told me, when it comes to rap, there are no classes or superiors versus inferiors. We are all a team, each with individual attributes that add their special skill and energy to the whole. Finally, Lupe wrapped up his lesson by defining what a true rapper is to him. Hip hop got its respect from rappers who spoke truth to power and struck fear in the comfort zones of oppression and inspired folks to take a look at their surroundings, analyze and overcome, he concluded. Hip hop isn't respected because of how many records it has sold or how many dances it has created. Unless we talking about breakdancing, hip hop is respected because it kisses nobody's feet and never will. Our feet don't belong on the mouths of our pioneers, they belong on their shoulders. The true rapper is the one who continues to do it when it's no money, no fame, no cars, no jewelry, just the love of the craft that keeps them on that grind. That's the bar. Everything else other than that is just filler and cap. So what do you guys think? Did Lupe Fiasco have a point? Are all generations of hip hop one big team? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.